Hello everybody, it's Cynthia from Cynthia's Creations and I'm here tonight you guys with another DIY. I have a surprise for you too once we get to the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so you won't miss any of my future videos. To my existing subscribers, hello guys. And I haven't heard from you all. We have a contest beginning today, September 1st. And every week, I'm going to give one of the divas away. So, look at that video and look at the requirements. Um, I need you to like the videos, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'm going to do the drawings every Friday in September. So, without further ado... Let's get started. We're working with 6 inch by 30 burlap wreath today. She is going to be a diva, but she's going to be a surprise. So this is going to require no pipe cleaners or cable ties. This is going to be a burlap pull through method. So I have a 14 inch wreath frame. And we're going to work with the two wires in the center. These two. So you take your mesh, your burlap, and you put it through around the two in the center. Just like that. in the center and make sure it's even and then we're just going to pull it through scrunch it through and mesh catches on everything I tried cutting this burlap and it was too messy I will work with burlap cutting method, but it's going to be the 10 inch burlap. But today I have 6 inch that I'm working with. And you see what I'm doing? I'm just pulling it through, scrunching it real tight because we're not going to need to use anything to secure this. Just make sure you have both edges even as you're pulling them through. This is what it looks like on the back. Very neat. So we just keep pulling it through. Once you get the hang of it, you can pull it through a lot quicker. This is so easy. I, I think I say this on all of the videos. This is so easy. I think I've pulled through as much as, oh no, still can pull some more through. Get it as tight as you can because you're not going to use anything to secure it. And this reef shouldn't even take an hour to do. Okay, so we're on the next, past this bar, we're on the next one. Nothing to secure it, just make sure it's nice and tight, very snug. And you start pulling through again, pull through. Okay, 
getting the hang of it. And 30 inches doesn't, 30 feet doesn't go very far. Most of the rolls come with 10 feet on them. I was happy to find these at 30 feet in the store. Normally, usually you have to order that length online. And the reason why I decided to do this method is because burlap <clears throat> tends to fray a lot and the hairs unravel. It, they even, uh, it unravels even more than the deco mesh. We are going to be using mesh at the end, and that is the surprise. I guess I told the surprise. We are going to be using mesh in the end. you can see this but all of this dust pile came from this burlap so if you guys have allergies or anything like that you may want to wear a mask which I'm sure you're used to wear a mask when you're working this one up so I see little fibers going up in the air Just ruffle it out.
So here's my surprise. A lot of you want to know where to find the silhouettes, where to find faces. Well, I ran out of toner for my printer, so I wasn't able to print any of the ladies out. So guess what I did? I'm using myself. So the I used the adhesive foam board. I had a picture of myself that I was contemplating using and I attached her to the adhesive board, drew her lashes on, did a little wild eyebrows, did her makeup, and now this is who I'm going to attach to this burlap, Miss Cynthia from Cynthia's Creations. So if you don't have the faces, you can always use a shot from yourself or someone in your family. And I left the, uh, some extra foam board because I'm going to need to add some mesh to it to fill it in. And I just put her on just to see how much further I could go with the burlap. So I'm going to use up the rest of the burlap. And then I'm going to attach myself to this reframe. Yeah, I think the next time I do this one with the burlap, I'll have a mask on. A lot of fibers kicking up, guys. Okay, guys, so if you like this pull-through method, leave it in the comments. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments. I'll get back to you. And because, because we're not finishing up at one of the bars, I am going to put a pipe cleaner on here. 
You don't necessarily need it because you're going to be putting the diva down. But I want to make sure it's secure. I know it's a wreath of myself. And it's going to stay with me. But I still don't want it to fall apart. So I'm going to put a twist tie on. See how it has a lot of fray. Twist tie on. So the pull through method looks like a, a big ruffle. This looks like ruffles. And again, you can add whatever you like to it. If you want to add flowers, if you want to add mesh in here, you can do that. Okay, so here is. Miss Cynthia creation. This is another Cynthia's creation. Well, it is nice and snug. So let's finish her. Next thing we're going to do is put a pipe cleaner through to secure the face to the board. You guys know how to do that. If you don't remember, you can. Well, actually, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I was going to send you back to one of the other videos, which shows shows the same thing. Get your tool that punches the hole through the foam board. Grab your pipe cleaner. Put it through. And secure her in the back. Who wouldn't want to do one of these of themselves? The ladies that we use on these silhouette wreaths, they're very beautiful, but find one of those glam photos. We all have them. And do one of yourself. They will make a nice gift for someone that wants to look at you all the time. Stalk your children. Give one to each of your children. Let them hang them in their lockers in school. Take away to, co to college with them. Put them on their dorm room doors. <laughs> <laughs> So 
So this is what she's looking like. But she's not finished. We're going to put some mesh in here. We're going to be using brown mesh to match her makeup and the burlap. So I am going to, I'm recording another way guys, so I don't want to lose this video, so I really don't want it to stop or end prematurely, so we're going to have to do all of this on camera, so bear with me. You guys know I work pretty fast. With these so I'm gonna cut these at 20 inches 20 inches because this one is Dollar Tree mesh and it has a tendency to fray and the longer the length the deeper the color I really like this brown color it has the gold stripes through it and I'm going to tell you how many 20 inch cuts I was able to get out of this Dollar Tree mesh so far that's six at 20 inches Seven, so you're able to get eight 20 inch pieces out of the Dollar Tree mesh, which means you can get 16 10 inch pieces. And I wouldn't go any lower than that, so I'm going to use the scrunch method so I can try to fill her up. when I do these guys this is base this is like the basics you can go on and take your time and do these off camera and you can take you'll 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 find out that they take they can take hours to complete so when I do these videos it's base it's the basics and it's showing you how you can get started but you Add your own creativity to these. When I did my fork tutorial, that fork diva took me over two hours to complete. 
a short video, but it took me over two hours to complete her. This tool comes in handy. I purchased this from the Dollar Tree. I had the one with the little pin holes, but they get worn out after a while. See where we're going with this? She has her get down, get down brown lipstick on. This was my surprise guys. My surprise was that you can use your own photo to create these. That will make an awesome gift for someone that loves you. So if you give it to somebody that doesn't love you, you may use it as a dartboard. Just to let you guys know, we have three more pieces of mesh to wrap, and then that's a wrap.
If you guys want to see another fork lady created, leave that in the comments as well because I have some forks left over and I really wanted to do another one, place them a different way to create the hair. So let me know if you'd like to see another one of those done. And y'all know when I go off this camera and show you the pre I, actually I do a preview because when I go off camera after showing you the basics I look at my creations and then I add finishing touches on them. So this tutorial is basically to show you guys the burlap pull through method, scrunch method, pull through method, that's what this was for. I'm going to turn her over, cut the twist ties, and then that will be the end of this tutorial. I'm cut the pipe cleaners. Here, guys, this is Cynthia. This is Miss Cynthia from Cynthia's Creations, and this is Miss Burlap. That's me. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. I need a thumbs up. I've been working real hard. She needs a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys. Have a good night. God bless.